Hi, I'm Mrs. Patterson. I'm about to play the second violin part to Main Street March, but before I play all the way through it, I want to talk to you about a few things, um, mostly uh, the lift bows. There are a lot of lift bows in this song. Every time you see a comma, that's a, tell, a reminder just to uh, lift the bow because um, you're going to be starting down bow and then replacing the bow to get ready for another down bow. Okay, so that happens right away from the very beginning. Um, and right there in measure three, there's a comma. That's a reminder to lift the bow and um, reset for the next down bow. That happens all the way through the piece, and I'll be talking you through that as I play it. Um, also, I wanted to make sure that you know the difference between a half rest and a whole rest. If you look at measure nine, there's that little uh, box-looking rest that sits on the third line. That's a half rest that gets two counts. But in the next measure, you see the little box thingy is hanging from the fourth line. That's a whole rest that gets four beats of silence. So you do have to count those so you know exactly when to come in and measure 11. Otherwise, you'd be early, and you might have a solo that you didn't mean to have. Okay, also I wanted to talk about the fortes and pianos. F stands for forte, which means to play loud, and the P stands for piano, which means to play softly. If you look at measure 33, there's both. It says F dash P. What that means is the first time uh, through you play forte loud, and then on the repeat, the second time you play piano, soft. Um, and then it's the opposite at measure 59. Measure 59, the first time you play softly, and the second time you play loudly. Um, yeah, so watch for the first and second endings between uh, measures 33 and 40. You repeat back to 33, and the second time you jump to, the, to where it says 2 at measure 41. You don't play measures 39 and 40 again. You would jump to measure 41, and I'll talk you through that as we play. All right, let's start from the beginning. So about one, two, ready, Play.
long. Do watch out for the slurs. For example, starting at measure 44, try to make sure that if there's a curvy line that it's connecting two notes in the same bow direction, that you don't change bows for each note there, that you connect two bows in the same bow direction. Make sure you're doing the slurs. All right, that's a pretty easy one. Hopefully that won't take too much work, and we'll see you soon at rehearsal.